Hello children, welcome back. Okay, we'll start with chapter number 10, which is simple interest and compound interest. Uh, we'll lay more uh, stress on compound interest rather than simple interest. You've already done in your previous classes. So in this chapter, we'll do compound interest. Okay, let's start with the definition. First of all, simple interest. The extra money that is paid or received for using the principal is called simple interest. Now, I hope you all know what principal is. The money that we borrow or the money that we lend is called principal. The duration for which we borrow the money is called T, that's time. And the percentage that's used to calculate the interest is called rate. Now, the formula for simple interest, P into R into T upon 100, that's principal, multiplied by rate, multiplied by time upon 100. There's another formula for simple interest, which is A minus P. Now, here A stands for amount and P stands for principal. Now, what is amount? The money borrowed, that is the principal, and the extra interest, SI, the extra money on that principal together constitute what is called as amount. Now, we calculate simple interest only one time. Now, let's uh, see what compound interest is. Although compound interest is also an interest, but... You calculate the interest for one year and you add it to your principal and then after adding the amount that you get that becomes principal for the next year and this keeps on going and we add all the interest depending on the number of years and altogether it is called compound interest. Compound interest can be calculated for the entire time period only once that is by using the formula or we can calculate it for every year separately that is without using the formula uh, for the formula compound interest is also a minus p that's amount minus principal but here we take the final amount minus original principal that is if we are not using the formula now amount is p bracket 1 plus r upon 100 r stands for rate and p stands for principal to the power n where n is number of years using this formula we will get amount and to find compound interest amount minus principal and we get the compound interest now children will directly uh, start with exercise 10.2 let's first see which all questions we are going to do from this we will be doing 1 5 6 7 8 9 11 12 13 and the question is that you have to do it yourself as a homework second third fourth these three questions are exactly like your question number one so after i do one it will be easy for you to do these questions and then question number 10 which is exactly like your question number nine and you can see i've put a cross on 14 and 15 we will not do question number 14 and 15 as it is not related to your exercise so now let's begin with question number one uh, calculate the compound interest on 7000 at 9% for 2 years. This is the principal, that's the rate and this is the time. Now I'll do the question with the formula as well as without the formula. So we'll begin with solution number 1, principal rate and time. Now starting with method number 1 that is with formula. For that we have to first find out amount. Formula P 1 plus R upon 100 to the power N principal 7000 1 plus r that is 9 upon 100 time is 2 now how do we solve it this is 7000 multiplied by 1 plus 9 upon 100 100 into 1 100 plus 9 is 109 upon 100 power is 2 now whatever is the power the same fraction has to be written that number of times reduce your zeros and after that 109 into 109 into 7 is 83167 upon 10 changing into decimal one decimal will come here now 0 0.7 or 0 0.70 both are same we got the amount now we'll calculate the compound interest which is amount minus principal 8316.70 minus 7000 that is rupees 1316.70 now moving on to the second method without the formula now in this what we do start the question like there are two years so split your question into one year and one year now first year principal is the original principal rate and time will be one year we'll find out the interest we'll apply the formula of si 
P into R into T upon 100 and we get the interest as 630. Then we find the amount P plus I 7006 plus 630 that is 7630. Now one year is over as the total time was two years. Now moving on to the second year. Now in this when we are not using the formula for the second year the principal will be same as the amount at the end of one year. So at the end of the first year the amount was 7630 which becomes principal for the next year. Rate remains same and as the total time was uh, two years and we have split into one and one. So again time will be one year. Again find out your interest P into R into T upon 100 and then find out your amount P plus I that's this principal plus this interest which is 8316.70. Now we've got the amount. Now finally to find out the compound interest. A minus P. Now this is the final A. That's the final amount minus the original P that is the initial P. 1316.70. We can also calculate compound interest by adding the interest for the first year as well as the interest for the second year. So add the two interest and again you will get the total compound interest. Okay. Question number five. A man invests 35,000. Now what you borrow, what you lend. This is your principal. 5% rate for three years. Total time is three years. You have to calculate interest for first year, interest for the second year, amount at the end of second year and interest for the third year. Now as we have to find interest for every year separately it's advisable that this question should be done without the formula so we'll start the question principal rate and time now total time is three years we'll split into one year one year and one year so starting with first year the initial principal the rate time one year find out your interest p into r into t upon 100 p into r into t upon 100 and you get 1750 next find out your amount p plus i Initial principal plus interest that is 36750. Now moving on to the second year. Now every year the principal changes when we are not using the formula. So now the principal will be the previous year's amount. So amount for one year becomes principal for the next year. Rate, time. Find out interest again. That's 1837.50. And after interest again find out amount. That's P plus I. And this is your amount for the second year. Now moving on to third year. Amount at the end of one year becomes principal for the next year. Rate, time, final interest. Apply the formula PRT by 100 and you get. Now we will not find amount here because in the question it was not specified. Now there, there were four parts. Part number one was what was the interest for first year? Now first year. Check the first year. Whatever was the interest. That's your answer. Interest for second year. Now whatever was the interest for second year. That's your answer. Amount for second year. Whatever was the amount for the second year. That's the answer. And interest for third year. And this is the interest for the third year. Now for the third year. When you are calculating your interest. 1929.375. As after decimal we can have only two digits. So we have to round off this 5. Now I have already told you how to round it off. 5 or more than 5. We add 1 to the previous number and we cancel it. 7 plus 1 is 8, 3.9291 and this is your final amount.